Hey guys, what's up? So I have been receiving a lot of comments recently, and these comments are about Steven, how do you get Minecraft Forge 1.6.2 working with Optifine 1.6.2? Well, if you guys ever tried it yourself and try to install it just, you know, manually, you might get yourself a crash log, because they don't normally work together without patching it. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get those two working together. I'm not going to be making a review for anything, because you guys know what Optifine does. It reduces your lag, and you guys know what Minecraft Forge does. It loads mods. So so anyways, if you guys notice, I do have mods installed. If I press F3, you'll see right up there, it's going to say Optifine 1.6.2. I am using the standard version, but this tutorial will work for the Ultra version and any other version of Optifine. So there's the Battle Towers mod that I just reviewed yesterday, and there's some horses over there. But if I press E, you can see I have not enough items and Nopes' mod. And this mod requires Minecraft Forge. See so if I right click, look at this guy. Yeah. So anyways guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this working and it's going to be super simple. I'm going to leave an instruction list down below of the description so if you guys want to follow along of what I'm saying then make sure to check out the description and all that other stuff. Also if this tutorial did help you guys out then make sure to hit that like button. It would really mean a lot to me and it will show me proof that this tutorial actually helped someone out. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because if Minecraft updates to a new version of, you know, Minecraft and, you know, if installation of mods get even a lot more challenging, it's going to be my job to show you guys how to install these mods and how to get everything working for you guys because it's all up to you guys. You guys are the reason why I'm making these tutorials because you guys are the ones who are asking for them. So, with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and see how to install Minecraft Forge with Optifine 1.6.2. Let's begin. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin this. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow 11 instructions in which I, you know, included in the description, or it's right here on my sticky note. So we're going to be following these 11 instructions to best ensure that we have installed everything correctly and have these mods working together, which is Optifine and Minecraft Forge 1.6.2 for Windows. So if you guys are Mac and Linux, then you guys, you know, it's the same process, but you just have to locate your .minecraft folder differently. So anyways, let's go ahead and begin this. What you guys are going to do is download all the requirements, which is listed in the description, or click on the annotation above this video where it says download the requirements so click on that annotation and it should take you here to my website which is called optifine plus minecraft forge 1.6.2 requirements so after you go here you're just going to scroll down where it says download and this is where you're going to get minecraft forge 1.6.2 installer all right that's quite simple and you're going to choose what type of uh which type of minecraft 1.6.2 optifine version do you want do you want to have the standard which is for casual gamers and you know just going on servers and stuff or do you want ultra for those people with like nvidia cards and amds or even uh with shader packs so you guys have to choose which one you want. I'm going to go ahead and do this tutorial for the standard users because there's a lot more standard people than Ultra. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do this for the standard. The installation is quite the same in this tutorial for both these versions. So, you know, there's no big difference. So there's also an optional right here for the JSON file that we're going to be messing around with later on this tutorial. There's an optional download, which I included right here for the standard and Ultra version. So I'll, you know, uh, talk more about this later on in the tutorial. If you get lost, you could always download download this patch that I've already made for you guys. So anyways, once you get all the downloads ready, go ahead and drag it all to the desktop. Just choose Minecraft Forge 1.6.2 installer and one of these ultra or standard Optifine versions. So once you get everything, step one, let's see, make sure you have the new Minecraft 1.6.2 launcher and run it once. So here's Minecraft 1.6.2's new launcher. I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And right after you double click it, you have to make sure that you are on your user or log into your user, Steven or whatever your username is, and go ahead and press play at least once so it could download Minecraft 1.6.2. If you guys have already done this, then you're good to go. Go ahead and quit the game. Now what you're going to do is download uh, Minecraft Forge 1.6.2 and go ahead and install it. So this is the same download from my website. What you're going to do is double click this Minecraft Forge installer 1.6.2. Just double click it and you're going to get this right here. So if you get yourself a red warning, then that pretty much means you did not run the new Minecraft launcher at least once. So make sure you log into your user and have ran it once. So once you are ready, click here on install client on the Minecraft Forge installer and go ahead and press OK. Once everything is complete, it's going to give you this message which says complete. You have successfully installed client profile Forge on version whatever of Forge into launcher. All right, so once you have installed it correctly and it says complete, press OK. Now we have installed Minecraft Forge. All right, that's it. We're done with Minecraft Forge for now. Now let's go ahead and start messing around with this Optifine download. This right here is the, uh, what is it called? The standard user. So this is the standard download. If you guys have Ultra, it's the same exact thing. You just have to rename everything differently. So what I'm going to do is we're going to rename this zip and we're going to rename it into a jar. So in order to do that, you're going to right click and click rename. 
So right here, just what you're going to do is get rid of all the capitalization on Optifine. As you see, there's a capital O, we're going to backspace and put a lowercase O. There's a capital F in the, in the middle, so what you're going to do is backspace that and put a lowercase F. So make sure everything is just lowercase. And don't forget, right here, you're going to see there's an underscore. Do you see this underscore right here in between Optifine and 1.6.2? Remove that underscore and put a minus sign. So it's Optifine minus 1.6.2, all right? Right after you've done that, go ahead and press enter, and there you go. So now we have renamed the zip, and now what we're going to do is convert this zip into a jar. So Optifine, all lowercase, minus 1.6.2, and the version of the Optifine. So what we're going to do is right-click this if you guys have WinRAR. If you guys don't have WinRAR, then Google search WinRAR and download the free trial, because what we're going to be using in this tutorial is uh, WinRAR and Notepad++. So make sure you have those two, WinRAR and Notepad++. So what we're going to do is right click this and go here to uh, open. So we're going to open up the Minecraft 1.6.2 zip that we messed with. So here it is. Right after you open it, go here to file and save archive copy as. All right. So go here to save archive copy as. Click there. And now you're going to select your destination. I'm going to go ahead and click on desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go here to all files, off to find and press dot jar. All right. So we're going to convert this into a dot jar after file uh, save copy as put the name and put dot jar at the end. Go ahead and press save. And there you go. Look at the desktop right here. It should have converted itself into a jar. And once you have done that, you are good to go. That was probably the hardest step throughout this tutorial. So after you've renamed everything and have everything correctly, let's go ahead and install Optifine. So now we have to locate our dot Minecraft folder. In order to do that, we're going to go here to start search program file for windows it's percent app data percent so after you search percent app data percent on start up here it's going to say roaming folder click on the roaming folder and make sure that at the very top it says dot minecraft folder so once it says dot minecraft folder go inside that dot minecraft folder you're going to see acids bins configs and all that stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to locate the libraries right here so open up the libraries uh you know folder which is in dot minecraft open that up go inside the net folder inside libraries if you don't find this libraries if you don't see this stuff then make sure that you have ran uh, minecraft forge while you've installed it you know how we installed minecraft forge installer we've installed it what we're going to do is double click our minecraft launcher and go here to profiles and select forge all right and it's going to tell you log in press play if anything and just press play at least once and it should be able to download the libraries and everything which is required but if it, it's already here if you already have libraries in net, then you don't have to do this. So I'm just showing you that you have to log into Forge at least once. So I do have mods installed. That's good. But what we're, we're missing is Optifine. Let's go ahead and install Optifine. So I just went ahead and briefly, uh, you know, ran Minecraft Forge just once on the launcher. You didn't really have to do that. But now what we're going to do is go here to dot Minecraft libraries and net in order to install Optifine. Go inside there. And once you are inside here, what you're going to do is make yourself a new folder. All right. Minecraft libraries net make yourself a new folder inside the net folder and call it optifine all lowercase make sure you spelt it correctly if you put a, a, like a capitalization or if you put an a if you misspelled it, it's not gonna work so inside the net you have made yourself the optifine folder go inside there you're gonna make another optifine folder all right so I'm gonna go ahead and call it optifine all lowercase and make sure you spell it correctly I just misspelled it so there we go I went ahead and uh, misspelled it in the beginning but I went ahead and correct it there we go so make sure it says optifine optifine all right so net optifine optifine go inside this optifine folder right after you're inside here what you're gonna do is make yourself a new folder for the versions of this optifine and our version of optifine is HD b5 so what we're going to do is make ourselves a new folder right here click your uh, click new folder and what you're going to do is rename this again just to get the 1.6.2 hd b5 so right click rename highlight this 1.6.2 uh, hd b5 uh just just not not the optifine so just ignore the optifine minus just copy the 1.6.2 hd b5 copy that all right and on this new folder inside optifine optifine Go ahead and rename this and just paste it back in. So it says 1.6.2 underscore HD underscore B5. So hopefully you guys understood that. What we're doing is just getting the version of Optifine and making a new folder for it. So right after you made yourself a new folder for the version of the Optifine, which is 1.6.2 HD standard user, go ahead and go into that folder. 
So once you have done that, go ahead and drag over the jar uh, that we converted into a, you know, zip into a jar. Go ahead and drag that inside that 1.6.2 HD version folder. So if, if you guys are installing Ultra, you're going to do the same exact thing. You just make Optifine, Optifine, 1.6.2 underscore HD underscore U underscore B4, if that's the version, or, uh, you know, whatever it is. All you have to do is just put the version 1.6.2, this right here, onto the folder name. So right after you've done that, now what we have to do is make sure that we have in included this into the argument of the JSON file of Minecraft Forge. So what I meant by that is we're going to go back to the dot Minecraft folder. So click right here, dot Minecraft folder, and we have successfully installed Minecraft Forge. What we have to do is add the argument to Minecraft Forge for it to recognize that we have installed a new mod. So go here to the versions folder under dot Minecraft, go into versions. All right. You're going to see 1.6.2 Forge, 9, 10, whatever, whatever version you're using. Go into here. Now we're going to edit the JSON file. If you don't want to edit the JSON file, what you could do is just download the JSON file. I have added in the download right here for the standard user. What you could do is click on here and it will automatically install the JSON file. Well, not automatically. Uh, you would have to open up the zip and just drag over the uh, JSON and replace it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that after we've already edited this JSON file. So we're under .minecraft versions 1.6.2 uh, forage. What you're going to do now is you're going to edit this JSON file. So I'm going to right click this and put edit with notepad plus plus. If you don't have notepad plus plus, Google it and get the free version download if there is one and go ahead and open that up. And there you go. So what you're going to do inside here is you're going to look for the number eight right here, the line eight. So go to line eight and you're going to see this comma right here. You're going to see a squiggly bracket and a comma. Go ahead and press enter on there and go into my description and download or not download, go into my description and copy this argument, which is should be in the description. It's going to have a squiggly bracket. It's going to say name off the fine, all that stuff. And go ahead and copy this. All right. So go ahead and copy that and go ahead and paste it. All right. So once you have copied the argument and pasted, it, make sure that this right here, check this out, guys. Um, let me go ahead and locate my Optifine real quick. Libraries, net, uh, Optifine, Optifine, this. All right. So check this out. We have installed the, uh, what is it called? The standard version. And right now this argument is for the ultra version. As you guys can see, it says 1.6.2 HDU B4. This isn't the version we're trying to install. This is the standard one. So in my description, I'm going to have two different types of arguments. The one that you should be copying is the standard one. If you guys are installing the standard version. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and just replace it because it had the wrong argument. So there's going to be two different ones. Just make sure you look in my description. It's going to say standard argument and it's going to say ultra argument. So make sure you, you know, know which one you're choosing. So this one right here is the standard one. So all you have to take note is the 1.6.2 HDB5. This is your version. So right after you've done that on the eighth argument, you pasted that right in. Go ahead and go, uh, go ahead and go right here to save and just click it. So there you go. You have clicked saved and you are good to go. So if I go back here to dot Minecraft, go here to versions and go here to uh, 1.6.2 forge and double click this JSON should say right here off the fine. Yep, this is it. This is what we just did right now. But if you guys don't want to edit this and it's a you know a little bit confusing, what you could do is go to my website, click here on standard. You see, this is this is the standard download. Click there and it should be able to download right here the uh, JSON SCMONS patch. Go ahead and open that up. And inside there, you're going to see right here. The 1.6.2 uh, Forage JSON file. And what you do is you could download this and simply drag it into your uh, versions folder, 1.6.2 Forage, right here and overwrite this JSON file that was already there. So go ahead and drag it in there and replace, press OK. You can open this up and see that it's actually there. It's already been added for you, so you don't have to do this. What you could do is just download this uh, zip from my uh, website. So once you have done that, then we are down to the last steps, which is the easiest one. So let me go ahead and open up these folders again and go ahead and close them. So we are done. Go ahead and close everything. And now what you're going to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, the new one. Double click it. All right. So do not press play right away. All right. What you're going to do is go here to profile and select forge. So on profile, make sure it says forge. It should be there if you installed Minecraft forge correctly. And what you're going to do is go here to edit profile. So select edit profile. And right here, you're going to see JVM arguments. So click on this, check it off so you can edit it. And what you're going to put here on the arguments is you're going to put this line of code, which should be in my description. All right. So go inside my description 
and copy this argument, which is in the description. It should be around there. Just read what it says in the description. And what you can do is press space so you could space this out and press control V to paste. So here's the basic uh, Minecraft argument and here's a uh, space and here's the new uh, patch, which is right here. So once you have done that on the profile of Forge, go ahead and click uh, save profile. So after you add in the patch on the JVM arguments, go ahead and save profile and go ahead and press play. So after you've done that, then you should be able to load Optifine with the latest version. And there you go, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, maximize this. Hopefully, the tutorial wasn't really that confusing. If you guys follow it along, then it should be able to work. As you guys can see, it says Optifine, Optifine 1.6.2 standard user, and Minecraft Forge, and whatever version of Minecraft Forge you're using. If you guys got all the requirement downloads in my website and did everything as instructed, then you should be able to you know, have everything going correctly. The only confusing part might be just renaming this Optifine with lowercase and, you know, adding in the little dash instead of an underscore and, you know, uh, converting it to a jar. That's it. And after you've done that, it should be able to work. So if I go back to the dot Minecraft folder, another thing that might be confusing is going here to libraries, libraries, net, Optifine, Optifine, here's the version of uh, what you're installing of Optifine, which is the standard. And here's the jar that we've uh, converted inside the uh, version of our Optifine. So there we go, guys. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If it didn't really help you out, then be sure to tweet me if anything. Uh, let me know what your problem is and uh, make sure to go to my help forums on my website and maybe someone will probably help you out there. And you could always go to the Minecraft forums support area and ask them too. Uh, but if you guys follow the tutorial, it should be able to work. And hopefully you got everything working. If this helped you out, be sure to hit that like button. And thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.